Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over a method for you to get yourself your very own shiny artisan, poltergeist and masterpiece sinistra in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the Teal Mask. Poltergeist and Sinistra are the brand new ghost and grass type Pokemon that are exclusive to the Teal Mask DLC in Scarlet and Violet. In the Kitakami region, you're going to be able to capture these Pokemon, although the Poltergeist is the only one that's available to catch in the wilds. You can catch Sinistra in four, five and six Terra Raid dens in the wild in Kitakami. But outside of that, you're not going to be able to catch this Pokemon in the wild. The only way for you to get this Pokemon outside of Terra Raids is going to be by evolving your Poltergeist. Now, there are are two forms of Poltergeist and Sinistra in Kitakami that you can get. There is the counterfeit form, which is the more common form that you'll come across, and there is the Artisan Poltergeist, which then turns into the Masterpiece Sinistra. Poltergeist appears in this area in Kitakami and predominantly along Revelers Road amongst the bamboo forest areas. These are where you're going to have the best chances of getting yourself a Poltergeist in the wilds of Kitakami. Now as it stands at the moment the odds for getting an Artisan form of Poltergeist is about 1 in 100. And to check what form you have come across in the wild there's a few methods for you to be able to do this. One of the simplest ways to do it although not super obvious is to look under the poltergeist when you're approaching them in the wild. You can get pretty close to them. They're not going to attack you, so you can get very close to them and then position your camera angle like this just to look underneath them. You'll be looking for a very faint mark on the rim of the bottom of the poltergeist. If there is a stamp there, it means it is the artisan form. If there's no stamp, it means it is the counterfeit form. The other way to identify whether they are the artisan or counterfeit form is just by catching them. You'll get a summary screen that will detail what form you've caught in the wild. And that's probably going to be one of the easiest ways to do it. It does mean catching a lot of these Pokemon, but a pretty seamless way of doing it. And you're just going to go out and just throw quick balls at a bunch of them and then check them every time that you do catch one. The way to identify what form of Poltergeist you have is by the evolution item it requires to turn into Sinistra. The unremarkable teacup item is an item that will only evolve the counterfeit Poltergeist into Sinistra, and that will be the counterfeit Sinistra. And the masterpiece teacup is the item that you require to evolve the artisan Poltergeist into the Masterpiece Sinistra. These Pokemon also have shiny variants. They're not the most obvious. You can kind of tell them apart because the shiny variant of these two Pokemon is a lot greener than the black coloration on the non-shiny version. Very difficult to see in the wild, especially if it's at night. So if you are shiny hunting these Pokemon, probably want to do it in daylight conditions it makes the green a lot easier to spot now in today's video we're going to go over the exact method i've used twice now to get a shiny artisan poltergeist so i've got a complete living dex of the shiny poltergeist and the shiny masterpiece sinistra in my games and you can do the same method that i'm about to show you to hopefully have a lot of success in getting yourself authentic or artisan shiny form of poltergeist and sinistra now the method that i used was through mass outbreaks now mass outbreaks are something that we had in the base games of scarlet and violet and they have come across the kitakami as well once you look on your map you will see little sprite icons of certain pokemon around the area especially when you zoom right out on the map this is the way to identify what outbreaks you've got going on in Kitakami right now. You're going to get a variety of Pokemon in the mass outbreaks, but the ones that we're going to be looking out for in particular are going to be the ones for Poltergeist. They're going to appear. You're not going to get mass outbreaks for Sinistra, just the Poltergeist. So that's what we're going to try and reset for using this method. So to increase our chances of being able to get a Poltergeist mass outbreak, what we're going to do is firstly drop a save if anything goes wrong, because we're going to be setting up a sandwich that gives us the encounter power level two for ghost type Pokemon. Now, the recipe that we're going to use to give us that encounter power level two for ghost types is two herbed sausages, four potato salad and one vinegar. A bit tricky to put together, but you shouldn't have too much difficulty. Once you've done this, it will give you that encounter power level two for ghost type Pokemon. This is just going to give us better odds for getting a mass outbreak for ghost type Pokemon appearing on our map. Now, once you've done this, open your map so you can visibly see the terror raids and the mass outbreak Pokemon that you've got active at the moment. So, you know, if you've done this step right and then hit your home menu, come down into your system settings 
down into your settings, down into date and time. Make sure that your clock is off via the internet and then just click in to the date and time and just toggle through with A until you hit get that OK button. Click OK, then hit your home menu and come back into the game. Now, you're not changing the date or time in this process, but once you come back into the game, you should see all of your terror raid dens and the mass outbreaks respawn at this point. So they should all change position and you'll get new mass outbreaks as well on top of this. Now, one of the issues we found with the teal mask is that the mass outbreaks when using this method to respawn a new mass outbreaks is that they're not appearing on the map correctly. Now, to make sure that you are getting all of the correct outbreaks appearing on your map with this respawning method, is to fast travel to somewhere on your map. You can do this to anywhere. Now, by fast traveling to a certain point on your map, it does seem to force through the correct mass outbreak. So you're able to see what is actually appearing on your map. Now you can see here that we've not got some Pokemon appearing when we've done this, but after we fast travel, they do reappear. And sometimes you get sprites in the wrong location with after you fast travel to a certain point, they adjust themselves to be the correct Pokemon in the place. It is worth noting as well, if you're doing the mass outbreak resetting and you don't get a Pokemon sprite appearing on your map and alternatively it is a question mark, it just means that you haven't got this Pokemon registered in your Pokedex. So it's a good idea before you start this method, if you haven't already registered a Poltergeist in your Pokedex, just to go to these areas where we've outlined where you can catch them, Long Revelers Road and catch yourself any Poltergeist. So when you do get the Mass Outbreak appearing, it will appear with its actual sprite and not a question mark, giving you kind of room for error in this process. So the method that I've been using to make sure that I'm getting the right and correct Mass Outbreaks when I've been doing this method to respawn them is to go into the map, use the method of going into your system settings in the system, date and time, clicking through all of the date, not changing anything, hitting that OK button, then back into the game, seeing that everything respawns on the map. Then before checking anything, just fast traveling to the closest point near to me, opening the map again, and then checking everything on the map from that point. And that should give you the correct mass outbreaks that you've got currently in your map. Now, what we're looking for is the poltergeist to appear. And what you want to do is just repeat the same process that I've done just now over and over again by going into your date and time, clicking through it, closing it back into the game and then fast traveling to that point, check the map until you do get that Poltergeist appearing. Now using the Encounter Power Level 2 for Ghost type Pokemon, I got this Poltergeist in about 20 minutes with Level 2. You can go up to Level 3, it would cost you Herba Mystica, so it's probably not worth it, but 20 minutes isn't too bad. Just bear in mind, this process might take a little bit longer. You might get lucky and you might get that Poltergeist Mass Outbreak appearing a lot quicker as well. But once you've got the Poltergeist Mass Outbreak appearing in your game, what you need to do then is go to where the mass outbreak is. Once you reach this area, the first thing to do is drop a save. Now, the interesting thing is in the two mass outbreaks that I've had for Poltergeist in my game so far, over what I would say is about 95% of all these Poltergeists in the mass outbreak are actually turn out to be the artisan form. Now, if we go around and check all of them, we did this on a stream that I did yesterday. And every single one of the Poltergeists were pretty much the Artisan form. We checked a bunch of them and I've done the same in this outbreak as well. And the same results are kind of coming in. In this outbreak, I have found none that have not had the mark. Whereas in the stream, I did find one that didn't have the mark. So the odds are in your favor of always getting an Artisan form Poltergeist from the mass outbreaks. Now, there might be mass outbreaks where it's the reverse of this, where you're getting more often than not the counterfeit forms. But it seems as though when you're going into mass outbreaks, you're going to have a good chance that the majority of the guys that are appearing in a mass outbreak are going to have that artisan mark, making them the authentic version, making getting an authentic or artisan shiny guys odds way more in your favor. Now, the next step in this process after you've dropped that save and you're at the mass outbreak is to knock out or capture 60 Poltergeists. Now, you might want to capture 60 of these Poltergeists that will take a little bit longer than knocking them out. Uh, but you can then obviously get yourself a bunch of the artisan forms amongst this if the majority of the mass outbreak that you're at 
are the artisan form. The other alternative quicker method is to just knock them out using the let's go function. Make sure you are keeping count. So if you've got the shiny charm and you've knocked or captured 60 of the mass outbreak out and you have that level three sparkling power sandwich activated, your odds go down to as low as one in 512 for a shiny to appear. Once you've knocked out or captured that 60th poltergeist from this mass outbreak, drop a save in your game because the next step is going to be setting up a sandwich that gives you sparkling power level three for ghost type Pokemon. Now there are a bunch of recipes that you can use to get this sparkling power, but the one that I've used, which allows you to mix and match Herba Mystica, is going to be one tomato, one onion, one green pepper, two red onions, and then I'm using a one spicy and one bitter Herba Mystica. Using this will give you the sparkling power level three for ghost type Pokemon. That's the most important thing that will max out your odds now for you to find a Poltergeist. It might not appear straight away, but the best way to hunt around and check these Poltergeists I found is just on foot walking up to all of the poultry guys kind of positioning your camera about hip level to your player character and then toggling it around to have a good look at the poultry guys the normal poultry guys is going to be a very black kind of form to its body whereas the shiny version is going to have a more green tinge to its body you're going to have to be very vigilant when searching out the poultry guys it is hard to spot and another way to do it is using the let's go feature just make sure that you're not knocking out too many because if you knock too many of the poultry guys out using this feature, you will end the mass outbreak early and you kind of don't want to do that. But the method that I used in this process was to just walk in a big loop around the bamboo area, checking every single poultry guys that I walked across. As I say, keeping my camera around that hip level height of my player character and then zooming as close as I could to the poultry guys to kind of check its coloration because it's a lot easier to do this in the daylight than it is at night time. And then once I've looped around the area, checking all the poultry guys that have spawned in in this turn of the mass outbreak, then I set up my picnic, despawning everything and take my picnic down to respawn a new batch in giving you another chance at that shiny and you literally just rinse and repeat this process. Now it's not going to be super quick. The first time I did this when we were on stream, I think I set up three sandwiches before we got the shiny. This time around when I've repeat this exact process to make sure that it does work, it took me five sandwiches to get the shiny to appear once again. You just got to have patience with this. Like I say, you might get lucky and get this very quick in your first sandwich. It might take you longer than five sandwiches, but just be patient, be very vigilant when you're doing this and you will eventually get that shiny poltergeist. Now, when you get the shiny poltergeist, you should, if you've checked the mass outbreak already and the majority of the poltergeist have the artisan mark, you're likely to get the shiny with the artisan mark as well. And as you can see here, this is the one that we caught on stream and it did have the artisan mark. We caught it in a friend ball as well. Be aware that the poltergeist do have the move Memento as well. So once you do identify that shiny, the first thing that you want to do is drop a save in front of it. Don't risk losing this shiny. Drop a save as soon as you see the shiny before entering the battle. If you don't catch it in your first try and it uses Memento and you haven't saved, then you've lost the shiny. So just make sure this is a super important point. Drop a save as soon as you identify that shiny ultra guys and go into the battle. Use whatever ball you want because of its ghost type and it does make it difficult to capture this one or lower its HP because false swipe. You can't use it on a ghost type Pokemon being a normal type move. Just throw balls at it. As long as you've got the save there, you're kind of fine to reset your game and then go back into it if you do fail it the first time. But as you can see, it wasn't too difficult for us to get it in a friend ball on the stream. And then when I've repeated this process this morning here, as of recording this video, I managed to get it in a premier ball pretty quickly, meaning that I do have two of the artisan forms. And you can see here when we have caught it, you do get the summary screen, which would tell you if it was a counterfeit form. But in fact, this one is another artisan shiny form poltergeist. So it does feel like the mass outbreaks give you way better odds of getting the artisan form and once you've got that mass outbreak with the majority of them being the artisan form appearing getting the shiny artisan form for that shiny masterpiece sinister is going to be very easy now to get the masterpiece teacup you want to come to the timeless woods and in this area that we're marking out on the map is exactly where you want to come in the front of the cave area you'll see a static snorlax beat that snorlax and once you have just venture inside the cave area 
and you'll be able to find yourself the masterpiece teacup that is going to be the item that evolves your poltergeist into the masterpiece sinister won't work on the counterfeit variant only on the artisan variant of the poltergeist now to get the unremarkable teacup item you're going to want to come to the paradise barrens area which is in the north part of kitakami on your map once you come to this area, you're going to be looking out for this cave area here, directly near the fly point. Once you venture inside this cave area, you're going to be able to find the unremarkable teacup, and that will evolve the counterfeit poltergeist into the counterfeit sinister. So you can have both forms of those Pokemon. Now you are able to get the unremarkable teacup item and the masterpiece teacup item also in the Ogapon ousting game, popping balloons. That is one of the item drops that you can get when you're doing that for the rewards at the end. So if you do need more than one of these items, you will be able to get them from this game as well. Once you have these items, the unremarkable teacup will evolve your counterfeit poltergeist into the counterfeit sinister and that will register it in your Pokedex. But more importantly, the Masterpiece Teacup is the item that you're going to want to evolve. Shiny Artisan Poltergeist into the Masterpiece Sinister. And once you use this item on it, you can see you're going to have the shiny form of this brand new Pokemon in its masterpiece form. And hopefully by using this method of the mass outbreak hunting, you'll be able to do this in your own game to, to get these rarer Poltergeist and Sinistra as well. These are very early days in the Teal Mask and I really don't have any data to kind of hard back up these claims but the fact that i've been able to do two outbreaks simultaneously getting the same result feels like it's more than just luck that you're able to go into these mass outbreaks and get the shiny artisan form pretty easily in the game i think all you need to really do is have a lot of patience if you follow the method that we've done in this video today you should have a lot of luck yourself of course if we do get data mined information from our brilliant data miners in the community in regards to the Art of Sand form, which I'm sure we will at some point when they've had a chance to look at these mass outbreaks in the Teal Mask, then I will update this information in the pinned comment of this video. So keep an eye on that one if you want more information going further in depth on that. But I wanted to put this video out early because after I've done it twice, I was able to replicate exactly what we did on the stream feels like you have a method to go out and get yourself an artisan or authentic poltergeist in your own game for yourself pretty easily so hopefully this method does help it does do drop a like on the video and do make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day i really appreciate you coming by checking out the channel if you've got any questions about anything that we've covered in today's video do drop them down below till next time friends take care of yourselves and bye bye